So let's go. James Peter Pisoni, outfielder, MLB debut, 1953, September 25th. You know when I tell you the exact date of a player's debut, you know he made history. Jim Pisoni was the last rookie player to make his debut in a St. Louis Browns uniform. He also played in the final game in franchise history. Signed by the Browns owner, Sport Shirt Bill Veck, in 1949, Jim would serve his country during the Korean War for two years before rejoining the Browns and making that historic debut in 1953. The team would move to Baltimore and become the Orioles the following season. Jim never played for the Orioles and was sent down to the minors for the next three seasons. Sorry for the out-of-focus thumbnail there. My phone won't let me edit all the photos, so uh, I'm having to work around it and it's not working out too good. My dad got Jim's autograph in 1956 when he was a Vancouver Mountie of the PCL. They had Lefty O'Doul as their manager. In the previous season, the Mounties were the Oakland Oaks. We also have two sealed scorebooks with Jim's autograph on the cover. You can see those in Season 2 of Souvenir Programs here. My pop has over a dozen Vancouver Mounties autographs in his autograph book. Most notable, Lefty O'Doul, Ryan Dernan, Charlie Beeman, Kelly Searcy, and old man Eddie Taylor, who at 54 years old played in one game for the Mounties that season, 1956. Jim Pisoni has a couple of tops cards, one from the Braves and one from the A's. He was traded to the A's in 1956, and in June of 1957 was traded again, along with Ryan Duran and Harry Suitcase Simpson, to the Yankees. Jim was taken by the Braves in the Rule 5 draft in 1958, where he played in only eight games before moving back to the Yankees for the 1959 and 1960 seasons, where he would meet up again with Ryan Duran. Hey, since I got a minute here, a little more on Ryan Duran, a.k.a. the Wild Thing. When he was trying out for a pitcher on his high school team, he threw so hard and wild that one of his tryout pitches broke two ribs on his fellow student at bat. He was taken off the mound before he could hurt anybody else. They couldn't put him in the outfield because his eyes were so bad. They couldn't put him at short or at third for fear of a bad throw to first base could injure a spectator. So he was put on second base where he could underhand flip the ball to first. That's great. Fast forward to his Yankee days. Ryan Duran said his best baseball memories are carpooling with Mickey Mantle to Yankee Stadium during the 1960 campaign. Ryan Duran said it was hard in the later years to see Mickey succumb to alcohol like Ryan had done all those years before. Ryan said this about Mickey Mantle. I can still see him laughing. That sense of humor he had and how much fun it all was. The good old days.